Vaughn. Sports car performance and long distance comfort with four seats. The Panamera solves this apparent contradiction. And this of course is also true for the latest members of the family. A warm welcome to the launch of the Panamera Executive and the Panamera 4E Hybrid with an extended wheelbase and numerous additional comfort features. The Executive models take the Panamera to a whole new level of luxury. Porsche has also revised the hybrid strategy of its Gran Turismo. The new Panamera 4E Hybrid inherits the technological genes of a famous super sports car. My colleagues from WISAC will provide the details. And the Panamera 4E Hybrid brings the concept and the genes of the 918 Spider to the luxury segment. The hybrid drive again takes the Panamera to a new dimension. This allows emissions-free local driving in electric mode, while in Sport or Sport Plus mode. It enables even greater performance. This is what we at Porsche call e-performance. More power, more driving pleasure, less consumption. In short, the performance kit of the future. Expressed in figures, this means that we can realize consumption of 2.5 liters over 100 kilometers on the one hand, while also delivering a vehicle top speed of 278 kilometers per hour on the other, with acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.6 seconds meaning we can really achieve the goal of the best possible balance between performance and consumption. The drivetrain of the Panamera 4E Hybrid has been designed as a parallel hybrid, which means that we combine a 2.9-liter V6 bi-turbo engine with a 100-kilowatt electric motor with a torque of 400 newton-meters and an 8-speed double-clutch transmission with a 6-plus-2 design. That is, the maximum speed is achieved in 6th gear. The 7th and 8th gears act as overdrive gears and are designed to ensure the best possible consumption values. The whole vehicle is designed as an all-wheel drive. As soon as the accelerator pedal is pressed, we are talking about a system torque of 700 newton meters, placing the Panamera 4E Hybrid high on the performance rankings. As with its predecessor, the liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery is located in the rear underbody of the vehicle. We've increased the energy content from 9.4 kilowatt-hours to 14.1 kilowatt-hours. The battery is charged in around 5.8 hours with 10 amp via a 220 volt household socket or in around 3.6 hours at 7.2 kilowatt hours using the optional onboard charger. The charging process, as well as the standard auxiliary air conditioning, can be adjusted very easily via the PCM, your smartphone with the app or using an Apple Watch. In other words, it can be done from the comfort of your own home. The Panamera 4E Hybrid is equipped with the Sport Chrono Package as standard. Among other things, this means that we have integrated the mode switch on the steering wheel as is familiar from the 918, providing access to the four main operating modes just by turning the switch. In e-power mode, depending on the charge state of the battery, I can drive the car in electric-only mode. In figures, this means that we can achieve a top speed of 140 kilometers per hour in e-power mode and have a range of 51 kilometers, as measured according to the new European driving cycle. Hybrid auto mode is the mode with the greatest range. In other words, this sets the optimum operating mode in every driving situation, depending on the driver's preferences. 
This may be the combustion engine, the electric motor, or even a combination of both, allowing us to choose the most efficient dry variant. This vehicle definitely proves that the terms performance and hybrid are not contradictions, but rather that at Porsche, hybrid means performance. Delivering a total power of 462 horsepower, this vehicle raises driving performance almost to the level of the Panamera 4S. And on the other side is the new Panamera Executive. The Panamera Executive has a wheelbase that has been extended by 150 millimeters compared to the basic Panamera. This extra 150 millimeter greatly benefits the rear passengers. This is the perfect car for those who want more luxury and comfort on the rear seats. The new Panamera Executive with the fast, typical Porsche fly line and design details, as well as the widened door sills, for example, would further underline the dynamics and elegance of this car. The significantly extended rear doors make getting in and out of the vehicle much easier. Rear passengers have plenty of legroom and an enormous sense of space thanks to the panoramic roof that comes as standard and the comfort seats with multiple electronic adjustment options that allow the backrest to be reclined by 9 degrees. The comfort seats are also available with an optional massage function with five programs and five intensity levels. Depending on the market, two airplane-style folding tables are available on request that are stored away in the large center console to save space. One of the highlights in the rear of all Porsche Panameras is the newly developed original Porsche rear seat entertainment. In the executive models in particular, this produces a comfortable high-tech workplace in the rear that offers the best connectivity. On longer journeys with the family, younger passengers will be delighted by the multifunctional features of the system. The system has an internal flash memory of 32 gigabytes. This can be expanded with a micro SD card. The touchscreens also feature a camera for conducting video calls and chats. Sound is played back via the speakers integrated into the touchscreens, the Porsche sound system, or Porsche Bluetooth headphones. A wide range of digital sources can be used. PCM media can be accessed via the SD card, jukebox, CD, DVD drive, and USB stick. Vehicle data can also be displayed, as well as the current navigation route with corresponding additional information. The Porsche rear seat entertainment can also be used to enter the destination for the navigation system of the Porsche Communication Management. Since the rear passengers can access the full content of the Google Play Store, the functional scope of the rear seat entertainment is virtually unlimited. You can also remove the tablet and work comfortably during the journey. And if you haven't finished, simply take it with you. The new Panamera Executive is available with all the engines that are offered for the shorter Panamera. From the entry-level engine with a new 3-liter V6 turbo, to the 4S and on the top model, the turbo. And for the first time, the new Panamera Executive as a 4E hybrid. Pure luxury and extraordinary hybrid performance. You can now experience both for yourself. Have fun. Porsche has implemented a futuristic vision for the display and control concept of the new Panamera. 
The Porsche Advanced Cockpit contains far fewer conventional buttons and instruments, and instead offers more in the way of freely configurable LED screens and smartphone-style touch interfaces. The cockpit of the future at Porsche is making its debut in the new Panamera. The latest Porsche is always the best. That's something we try to reflect in the electronics. There is a whole host of new features that can only be implemented today using modern electronics. Our remit was to pick up on the proven aspects of the Porsche control concept, including the interior. In other words, to continue with direct operation for driving functions that are elemental to a Porsche and to use this as the basis for new potential options. We have further refined our system. You will still find a button here and there, but it is no longer the case that all buttons are found in the center console, although the most important ones are located there. We've removed 40% of the buttons from the center console and transferred these functions to a menu on the large screen above the center console, where these functions can now be accessed. Of course, supplemented with options for controlling the new functions. The instruments cluster features two 7-inch displays coupled with the traditional mechanical rev speed indicator in the center. The displays are split into topics. On the left-hand side, for example, are the assistance features. On the right-hand side are the features providing information about the car, and in the center, power-related information. This approach ensures there is a clear display and control philosophy, including in the line of sight. And in the center console, I can adjust settings, strictly managed by an HMI concept, with a hierarchy of important functions, optional functions, through to set functions that you only ever need to set once during the journey. The familiar control gestures from today with rotating and swiping are all incorporated into the display and the area below, where the traditional buttons used to be has also been developed. Buttons are no longer purely mechanical, but rather capacitive, housed in a glass effect black panel, giving a modern feeling but delivering the same function as conventional buttons and switches.